see from that storm? Well, we're going to see a little bit more snow, and we'll start to fill in the snow more than what we're seeing right now. And here's one place that has already seen a little bit of snow this morning, and that is Los Alamos. You can see a little fresh snow on the ground there before it starts to melt off a little bit as the temperature has come up a little bit in Los Alamos. But they are still very close to the snowfall. We are still looking at snowfall over the northern mountains, and we'll take a look at the radar in just a second. Right now, the temperature is 40 degrees in the metro, so we are much too warm to get any snow here if we do get any precip at all through the afternoon. And if we try to get any precip going, it's going to be tough because we've already got winds cranking up. We're at 13 miles per hour out of the southeast. Eventually, they will become easterly as the backdoor cold front rolls through. Taking a look at temperatures across the rest of the state, we're sitting at 23 in Taos, 28 in Los Alamos, 21 in Alamosa. We're sitting at 43 in Socorro and down to the south. We are warming things up here, so it'll all be rain if there's any precip down into the southern parts of the state. We're at 48 in Alamogordo and 50 degrees currently in Las Cruces. Taking a look at our advisories, warnings, and watches, there's one of each up everywhere. We're looking at the winter storm warning for central sections of the state as well as the west central parts of New Mexico. Winter weather advisories in effect for the northwest down into the south and over the northeast. We have a winter storm watch in effect for east central and southeastern New Mexico. And we do have a few snow showers out there right now, mainly over the northern mountains. The west facing slopes are favored right now as that system is to our west, and we will be looking for this coverage to increase as the afternoon goes on. Taking a wider picture of this system, we are looking at it to drop down into Arizona before eventually making its way across New Mexico, and that will help increase the shower activity not only for the day tomorrow, but also with the backdoor cold front coming through, we will also enhance shower activity with that as well. So let's break it all down. We have the storm dropping into Arizona throughout the day today. We will see some scattered snow showers across the state throughout the afternoon. Then that front comes through later on tonight, and with that front coming through, that will combine with the low, and that will help expand coverage to not only include the west, but also parts of the east. We're not talking big-time snows like we saw the last system over the northeast, but we will pick up on a few more snow showers there. Then we get much colder behind the system. This system, one thing it is punching, uh, packing a punch with is the cold air. And for Christmas Eve, we will cool down quite a bit, but that will be short-lived because we will warm up and clear out for Christmas Day and beyond. And you'll see that in your seven-day forecast starting off in southern Colorado, where temperatures for today will be in the 20s with mostly cloudy skies. We will see snow from time to time, and that will go all the way through the day on Friday as temperatures remain in the mid-20s. But then the weekend clears out very nicely. We're back to the mid-30s by Sunday and into the low 40s by Monday. Over the northwest, temperatures in the 20s and 30s with partly cloudy skies. Snow showers a good bet for today, and we'll continue with those snow showers through at least early tomorrow before we start to clear things out tomorrow afternoon and into the weekend. Lots of sunshine this weekend as we make it all the way back to the upper 30s by Sunday and into the 40s for the start of next week. Over the southwest, temperatures in the 40s and 50s with mostly cloudy skies. We could see a bit of a mix for today, but better chances of seeing snow tonight and into tomorrow as the temperature drops to the 20s for tomorrow. Then we rebound into the upcoming weekend with more sunshine. Over the southeast, we're looking at temperatures in the 30s and 40s with partly cloudy skies. We could see a spot shower for today, but better chances Friday into Saturday as that system crosses the state. And then we clear out for Sunday and beyond with temperatures making it back to the 50s by the middle of next week. Over the northeast, mostly cloudy with snow showers around, temperatures in the 20s and 30s. And we continue with those snow showers through Friday. Then clear out very nicely into the back half of the weekend. Lots of sunshine for Christmas Day as temperatures make their way back to the 40s. Over the northern mountains, we'll be in the 20s and 30s with cloudy skies. We will continue to see scattered snow throughout the day, and that will continue for tomorrow as well before we start to clear out, and temperatures are back to the upper 30s by Sunday, and even managing to make it to the 40s by the middle of next week. Over the east mountains, we'll be in the 30s with cloudy skies. We will see some snow from time to time. We could get a couple of snow showers in the metro, but that east wind really going to make it difficult with temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. We'll continue with the chance of snow showers through early tomorrow, then we start to clear things out, and and we see lots more sunshine by Sunday with temperatures back around 40 degrees just in time for Christmas. Okay, thanks a lot, John. We'll be right back.